The Sitka Spruce Trail is rugged, to put it mildly. And put in the water again. Whoa, shit. Oh, hey there, welcome back. It's May 14th, 2020, and as you know, 2020 has been canceled. So, because every single race I've signed up for has been canceled, uh, myself and my friend Matt have decided to partake in the Issy Alps 100. Now, the Issy Alps 100 is a crazy run that a guy named George Orozco, or something, I don't know how to say his last name, created by connecting a lot of the most popular trails and climbs outside of Seattle into one horrific 100 mile run. It has about 30,000 feet of climbing and 30,000 feet of descent. It will probably take us somewhere in the neighborhood of 48 hours. There are no course markings, uh, so I'll be using the Gaia app on my phone since I don't have a very uh, nice expensive wristwatch to use. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna get across this little creek here. Uh, so today, I'm out here prepping for one week from today by scouting a couple of the most difficult areas that people have recommended uh, you recon before the run. Uh, I am starting out by checking out the mailbox to Tenerife connection along the Granite Creek Trail to the Sitka Spruce. I hear there's a couple of water crossings and a couple of places where you can miss turns. I'm gonna check this one out and then at one o'clock, I'm meeting up with Matt at East Tiger to uh, run and recon the Rattlesnake to East Tiger uh, connection, which I hear is the most difficult part of the run. You come across it at night, it's difficult to find trails and generally just a mess. So today, I'll be taking you along for the ride as I do some recon on a couple of the toughest sections. And then next week, uh, when we go out and make our unsupported attempt at the Issy Alps 100, I'll take the camera along and make a film and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. I'll see you then. Hey there, I'm about a mile and a half in and already I'm surprised at how rugged this area is being is, we're just right outside town. It's impressive. I've been crossing quite a few streams and really climbing a decent amount. Uh, my pace has been slow, probably 16 minutes a mile. Um, so not what I expected so far. Hey, hey! couple of short sections I've run already, I've been surprised at how much more difficult it is to run with quite a bit of weight on. I've got bear spray, hopefully it'll scare off cougars, 
and my poles, even though I won't be using them today, extra food, extra water. And my pack is probably a good six to eight pounds lighter today than it will be next week, which gives me some pause. All right, I am about two miles in, and I think I have completed the bulk of the climbing of the connector trail, and we're probably gonna start heading back down soon. As you can see, the foliage is very thick here and wet, so there's really no opportunity to stay dry on this section. So, as you can see, I'm already pretty wet. It's also a decently rainy day out today, and I've got my fingers crossed that in a week when we try to do this, uh, we get some dry weather, because being out in the wet for 48 hours, likely, uh, well, that sounds pretty tough. I think that'll definitely add a layer of complexity. Hey guys. All right, about two and a half miles in, and it is beautiful out here. Check this out. Totally awesome. One funny thing happened. I am hiking up the trail, looking at this new Gaia app, and uh, I hear a little click next to me, and I look up, five feet away, there is a herd, gaggle, flock, pride, pack. There's a bunch of deer right next to me, like five feet. And I didn't even know. So if it had been an angry bear or a hungry cougar, it would have taken a bite out of me. And now I've promised myself to stay more alert, keep my eyes peeled for any wildlife that might be, I don't know, right next to me. All right, about three miles in, and I've come to the Granite Creek Trail, Granite Creek Trail connector, and I can go up on the Granite Creek Trail or down. Uh, I've looked at my Gaia app. It says to go straight, which, uh, as you can see, could mean two different things. I'm gonna go down because I think at this point, I'm supposed to head back down to the road 
and go up and over to the Sitka Spruce. It's a guess, but I'll find out after a quarter mile or so if I'm right. Here we go. Okay, I'm about, well, just a little over four miles in and a little over an hour. Ooh. And I just made it down to the Granite Creek Trailhead. And now I'm going to hit the road, uh, go up Middle Fork Road for a bit, and then take a left on the Sitka Spruce. Here we go. All right, I am just crossed over the Snoqualmie River on this bridge. And my understanding is that the Sitka Spruce Trail is right in here somewhere, but very easy to miss. So I'm looking for that now. I wonder if this little patch of gravel off to the side of the guardrail is actually going to lead to the trail. We'll check it out. Huh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with maybe yeah. Here we go. Whoa. Oh my crap. More tight foliage in case my legs were starting to dry up. Hey, hey! Oh, what is this? Oh man. Okay. This is slippery. I think I. I think I might be able to hop across this. <sighs> Keep my feet a little drier than they would get. <laughs> well, only one foot got wet. Hey, hey! I have a higher level of excitement or anxiety than I think I would um, right now, but uh, I think it's because I'm anticipating what's happening in one week. Uh, what I'm doing right now is already difficult. Uh, I'm soaked. There's no way to avoid all these wet bushes. And it's not the easiest trail. Uh, and so just thinking about next week, thinking about anticipating uh, trying to do this for 48 hours has me pretty stoked and nervous. Okay, so I'm about five miles in on the Sitka Spruce right now, and I'm not sure where to go right now. The armband idea for my smartphone did not work out. Uh, I looked down like a half mile ago or so, and it said I was downloading a new operating system and it could ruin my phone. So I think that having it in that armband, because it's a touch screen, it's doing all sorts of crazy things without me knowing. 
Uh, so that's a problem. So I've taken it out and put it away. It did not record anything I've done on the Gaia app because it had to restart my phone. Um, so I don't think Gaia is going to be the way to record this. Uh, <coughs> just so you know, the rules about the Issy Alps is that if you want to get credit for it, you have to provide your GPS tracking of your run. So that's why I've, I've been trying to set up the Gaia. I don't wanna spend four or $500 on a smartwatch that can last that many hours. Um, as it is, I have the Garmin uh, piece of shit 600, I don't know what it's called, but it cannot charge while recording, I tested it. So it lasts, I don't know, a good 30 miles, I think I've gotten out of this watch, and then it dies and I, I'm not gonna be able to charge it while I'm on the run. So I've been trying to figure out how I can record this thing. Um, so I guess back to the drawing board. I really don't have the money to spend on a watch right now. Uh, but okay, back to where we are. I'm gonna try to figure out if I should go across here and maybe up this not trail looking thing. Maybe, I don't know. And foot in the water again. Maybe. Ah, uh, this doesn't look all that promising. Nope. This is not looking good. Hmm. Huh. Maybe there. Not sure how to get up there. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this away and try to scramble. Okay. So I did scramble up that rock ledge and over those trees and it looks like I am back on uh, some sort of proper trail. So hopefully this is it. Oh, hello little frog man. Okay, I have just gotten to the CCC road. Uh, I thought maybe that there was a road. I thought it was just a small trail. Um, but I came from there, across a little water crossing, and there was a turn off of the Sitka Spruce onto this here uh, that led to the CCC road. And I'm probably gonna turn around now. I'm six miles in and almost two hours. Whew, it's crazy. So, probably another five or 10 minutes, I'm going to turn around and head back and uh, go meet up with Matt to do the East Tiger Park. All right, I'm at about seven miles and I've turned around and I'm headed back down the Sitka Spruce now. Oh, those were slick. Hey, hey!
All right, almost 11 miles and about 2.45, two hours, 45 minutes. And I'm just getting back to the truck. <sighs> Legs are feeling a little tight and sore. But uh, now I'm gonna grab some food and coffee and then go meet Matt up at Tiger. I'll see you then. All right, so just picked this guy up. We're at Tiger now and we're going to explore from here up to Rattlesnake as far as we can get in like two and a half hours or three hours and then turn around and come back, see some of the water crossings and some of the tough parts. And uh, it starts, at least kind of how we're doing it, it starts at this Northwest Timber Trail. Whatever you want. All right, so we're about four miles in and we just came to the juncture where you can choose to cross Highway 18 on foot or you can go down and try to go across the Raging River. Um, Highway 18 is busy. So we don't feel like playing Frogger, so we're gonna try to cross the river, see how it goes. Maybe these are our course markings, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's the Raging River 5K. Hey there! Yeah, we gotta just, mm, shit. Now nah, let's go this way. Mm. Go double back real quick. Yeah, maybe at this point, which is why we're out here. Can't really see where the trail goes on the other side. Thinking through here? I'm thinking right through here. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Oh my God. Woo. Maybe uh, right up here, it's moving pretty fast. Oh, that's all right. Oh, I'm good. Woo! All right. Oh, yeah, let's check that out. This far would be right there. Yeah, go give it a shot. Can we walk through here? Sure. It's hard to know, you know.
At least we don't uh, live in like Arizona or New Mexico where there's snakes. <laughs> Maybe over here. You kind of head up left right after the freeway. So we just... Oh. It's right next to the freeway, it seems like. Man, I don't know. All right, we meandered down there a little bit. Ended up finding this kind of rocky river path. And uh, we think we're back on course. So sweet deal. So we're about six miles in, we're still heading up towards the Rattlesnake uh, area. We came from way out there on the other side of that mountain. We came down that power line section all the way down to the river and then up this power line section. And I mean, it's, it's been pretty brutal. I mean, like 18 miles for the day so far. All right, we'll check in there. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I don't know what I filmed, but uh, we're trying to find the trail and here's what we're dealing with. Sort of a, a, a wall of thorny bushes. And I think we're on the trail, but not real sure. Man, oh, ah, got me. Shit, oh. Did you just tell me to put my pole where your pole is? Put your pole across my pole. Jeez. Get my pole out. Fuck. Ow, you just fucking got me in the groin. Oh, shit. <laughs> you think this is the trail? I don't know. I don't oh, know. fuck. Let me, hold on. You're only 20 feet in. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, I have no idea. All I can see is bushes. As you can see, we're in a bit of a pickle. I just want to sincerely thank whoever uh, marked this on the map as the trail. There you go. Ah, okay, well, that was bullshit. Um, fairly certain the GPX is off on that one. So we're gonna try to go up the road here a little ways. Oh, well, the freaking GPX well shows us the, the way. Tunnel. Hey, is that drinkable? <laughs> All right, hard part's done. We made it about 10 miles to Stan's Overlook on the Rattlesnake uh, Trail. Rattlesnake Lake Trail or Rattlesnake I think Rattlesnake Lake Trail. And now we're turning around and heading back to Tiger. And hopefully I get some water soon. No, there really hasn't. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like they're both the same, huh? Pretty awesome. We're starting to come down the power line again, and then we'll cross the couple of rivers and head back up the other power line over to Tiger. Like 12 miles in. All right, like 13 or 13 and a half miles in, and we got all the way back down from Rattlesnake Trail. 
and uh, now we're looking to cross the second river and get back on to the climb to Tiger. Is it a right right here, man? I think so. Because, so. shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, well, anyway, yeah. we're going to wander around here and then. It's not like we were going to go that way. Yeah, that's right. That's the freeway up there. Okay. All right. Back on track. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, forgot to record anything else, <laughs> but we ended up, um, going probably about 18 miles. Um, so about 30 miles from the day for me and it was incredible. We scattered some really good spots. We put some sticks out to block some areas and, uh, I'm excited for next week. Uh, so we'll see you then.